with doing the CG data viewer. It's based on uh, data from the Skegel competition, harmful brain activity classification. So currently, yeah, we have everything working except the spectrogram. So we'll be loading the spectrogram. The spectrogram is in the original data. So we currently were trying to use charts J chart js to plot the spectrogram which is obviously not a great idea can chart js plot the spectrograms if not what be what would be a better library it should be a simple question for github copilot because it doesn't need the context of the whole thing spectrogram yeah we have four spectrograms okay apparently it was too difficult to answer for copilot all right, plotly. Yeah, that's the one we want to use. Yeah, we had a sample code. Let's shut the Flask application for a second. So we're making a Flask application. And we had this test a chart.js to plot the spectrogram. Actually showing something useful. Ah, sorry, that was a HTML file. So it looked like this. It's kind of okay, not quite, but but okay. But yes, we essentially weren't able to replicate this for the spectrogram. Unfortunately, why my camera is frozen? It should be better. I don't know. There's uh, two cameras I have connected via USB. It's probably what happens when you connect Microsoft uh, gear. Well, I mean, they're not making any gear. They labeled Microsoft uh, webcam to a Linux machine, <laughs> not a good idea. Right, so we had this example in HTML. I forget how, we already have a tool on bionicchaos.com. By the way, if you haven't checked bionicchaos.com uh, yet, please go do so. But this tool that does show EG spectrograms, that is using uh, a plotly, so it's working fine. So in this case, we're meant to have uh, or of those for different uh, positions on the brain left lateral right lateral left parasagittal parasag parasagittal and right parasagittal sorry for mispronouncing this word hopefully you're not an expert if you are an expert do let me know i'd like to collaborate and then we have uh, frequencies for them so they're kind of low res there shouldn't be too many of them in the data and they're meant to be the whole 10 minute long yes spectrogram of a 10 window a 10 minute window and we have the frequency in hertz so we're not passing uh, that data correctly at the moment okay so a couple of issues uh, the spectrograms are loading forever and eventually give an error so even if I try to load just one spectrogram instead of the all four that we have, uh, what's happening is, yeah, the plotting is not correct. I'm wondering if the data being passed correctly or not. Can we actually check the relevant part of the code for this and update it? A worst case, we'll need to move to using plotly js to display the spectrograms correctly let's pop it into both bots yeah we have full disclaimer we have the bots doing everything for us we can code and yes it's also co-hosting the youtube channel so hopefully it can tell you some jokes relevant jokes not like ha 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 jokes biased uh, language saying uh, plotly is uh, more robust is it that's good to know so question is should we continue with chart js or just move to plotly straight away considering we have this uh, spectrogram working already i mean you can do heat maps with uh, chart js like you can see here mm, yeah what do you think what do you think and by the way only talking to a robot because we don't have a human uh, on air we're also using github copilot if it's 
easier for GPT-4 to provide prompts for GitHub Copilot to actually do the coding. That would be okay. Yeah, Copilot doesn't have the overall context. It's giving very narrow kind of responses. Don't understand why the data format between chart.js and plotly.js will be much different. Yeah, we could fix the current format. We have a get spectrogram site. No, that spectrogram ID. We have the consensus options. That's are the different labels. We have the electrodes, patient IDs. Right, it's a very long list. That's the label for a current EG ID. I have a spectrogram ID. Uh, what's that one? Those are the sub IDs with the offset time. That's okay. We explained this in previous streams, but that, that's pretty straightforward. The, each label is for 50 seconds. And in this case, you have just over a hundred seconds of data. So yes, it's not clear why you have 18 labels in there. I already, I already complained about this in the past. So we leave it, leave it at that. Get label for specific ID is not working. So that's uh, something we need to fix because uh, each sub ID should have a label as well. So this will be something uh, simple to start with. I have get the uh, spectrum patient ID. Yeah, this get label, we have a sub ID. Is it actually being used? Yes. Just need to make sure that in JavaScript, we're actually using the sub ID as well. Are we? Don't think so. Where's the response? It's weird. Um, data not found. Refuse to connect. Anyway, they have a problem with the spectrograms. Well, right, it's not running. The it's important when testing the application to actually run it. Yeah, every time I do this drop down, even if the Flask application is not running, it's uh, loading forever. Let's close that one for a sec. Um, actually run the application, that would help. Right, now the label is working, okay. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. now it's actually populating okay as well. So the spectrograms are currently being displayed when we load a different sub ID. Yeah, so we get the plot. The plot is linear instead of uh, let's go JavaScript. Yeah, we can close it. JavaScript with the chart. We have lots of charts. Go to bottom. Display chart for side. Get chart data. We have fetch and display spectrogram. And we can get rid of that. Spectrogram ID. Is working okay. I'm pretty sure we will double check everything. Okay, what else? Yeah, so this bit the canvas, create a chart and store it in the charges. Yeah, we have some uh, trouble with those. Canvas ID, chart data, that's okay. We have destroy, it's fine, that's for replotting. Now this chat should not be linear that's for sure the other problem is time hopefully time is uh, being passed correctly i don't think so we'll test it in a sec okay can we focus on a uh, how the spectrograms are being charted there's a couple of things that are obviously wrong. They should not be lines. They should be uh, boxes of color. 
with uh, intensity yeah you know what spectrograms uh, are like spectrograms yeah, in this case yeah so it moved to pluto using plotly it's kind of made that decision by itself that's interesting well yeah it sounds like we <laughs> we are moving <laughs> the bot made a decision we are moving to plotly so there was no luck uh, um, plotting spectrograms with chart js anyone have if i managed to do it do let me know now question question i suspect we'll have to rewrite oh fetch an update let's see yes so from this point on onward we have a fetch an update chart get labels so why it's refusing to write the full code still need the get spectrogram id extract the frequency from column name we do need that yeah just give me generic stuff the spectrogram is not currently working can we change the code to use plotly j s for the spectrogram plotting there should be four of them yes so uh, what's his face uh, their face her face a uh, copilot is writing code obviously that's not it step by step by step but yeah we need to make sure yeah copy pasting is a skill isn't it and uh, let's see so we have this in update related data we should have the same a uh, when loading this should be an initial loading this doesn't go here we actually have a function a for what this something you need you need you need you need there should be a need data fetch and then a need to uh, plot something i don't think we have that and that's obviously wrong it's not updating properly fetch uh, ah yeah this one yeah those are the four yes yeah, so essentially we should have five charts ba, 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 ba. clear the terminal go to the dev flask up script run it load it there's a problem console lots of errors fetch and display spectrum but why the EG chart is not loading as well. Let's check that one. Spectrum ID LL file not found. That's not cool. Assuming the spectrogram ID is correct, is it safe to assume so? Yeah, that spectrogram ID is a bit weird. Okay, the spectrogram ID was wrong. What's wrong? <laughs> Where did it get the number from? <laughs> that must be the EG ID, not spectrum ID. Yes, it's an EG ID, not spectrum ID. Silly goose. Fetch spectrum. Silly little goose. Yeah, this would be in a JavaScript. Yeah, we have spectrum ID. I have a feeling it's stuffed up. No, it is correct. I think spectrum ID. Back to JavaScript. Spectrogram ID. Let's just call differently. Oops. Okay, we have it called 12 times. A whopping 12 times. Why? Yes, we get a spectrum ID. Yes, that should be correct. We're returning spectrogram ID. Something wrong. Uh, for some reason, JavaScript 271. That's the one. Yes, something wrong. Oh, okay. This might be this may be converted to async function. That's okay. We don't worry about that. We need to make sure the spectrogram ID, oops, is working correct. 
me yeah this get spectrogram id should have been a called before we fetch the spectrogram that's for sure a uh, there is a problem the get spectrogram id should run before fetch uh, spectrogram no 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 it's the function get spectrogram ids this is wrong seems that the fetch spectrogram is trying to load the spectrogram based on eeg id instead of based on the spectrogram id also the get spectrogram id seem to be running after the fetch spectrogram shouldn't that be the other way around could you fix the code yeah that the initial fetch initial data fetch is there initial plot as well i don't think so get spectrogram id is based on the eg id that sounds legit let's read it as well okay i don't know why it's reading the code instead of um just the comments the other chat the other text-to-speech well reads whatever you want but also it's actually disappeared yeah this one and if you do it for the whole um for the whole response it won't actually read the code which is better but let's hit that last bit I was sure if you you don't need to do that. Uh, if we have chat, we don't need that actually. Uh, skip forward. Is that still from uh, still coming from chart.js? Uh, we are not using chart.js anymore. Pretty sure we're not in Porting. anything do we no are you actually looking at the code or what <laughs> did i select the whole code i'm not sure i'm still trying to figure out how to uh, use uh, github copilot properly i mean uh, a gpt just works um, in a better way so do we have right this function does have to change because this is um, stuff from uh, when we were using uh, a chart js chat not sure if we still need that my chat i don't think so still being used like six times why not being used an update chat right that's all commented out so we can get let's just get rid of it we have update chart okay 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 okay, okay. um so we have a chart div what on earth are those ah uh, okay did a did something did another mistake well not a mistake i mean uh, that's i didn't think it will it changed the plotly okay change the plotly for everything that's fine we can deal with it i didn't actually think about it and uh, the spectrograms though uh still not showing oh no they are and the data is showing as well okay we are in business the business of business is business can get uh oops yeah commenting out in html is a pain isn't it <laughs> how more painful can that be still using um check everything don't we to check every bloody thing okay we're getting rid of that it's actually working now so we yeah should we never use chart.js i don't know is anyone using chart.js and it's uh, working for for them a uh, plotly seem to be way better if the bot would have recommended me to use plotly to begin with i wouldn't have even noticed okay so no oops lots of spectrogram id what's the problem with that bad request why missing eg or sub id pretty sure 
that the G ID does exist. Yes, it's missing in a sub ID. So where are we calling get spectrogram ID with only G ID? Should have the sub ID as well, should we? Or not? Are they all the same? I don't know. Well, we shouldn't risk it. Yes, let's see. Hold on. E G I D get spectrogram ID. It's the actual function. Where's this error coming from? We do not. Ah, we do have it in uh, the backend. Get spectrogram ID. No, we should fix it. We should have sub ID in it. Just how the data is structured. Yeah, we always should have a sub ID, not just the GID for essentially everything. That's why that error in uh, the backend. By the way, if you haven't checked bionicios.com, please do so. There's lots of tools that you might find interesting. And you will be also supporting the project that way. So hopefully I can make better content. I don't know, this uh, segment was labeled seizure. It starts a bit like a seizure, but it looks like more like EMG. What do you think? And it just abruptly stops and you have this DC component. So it's labeled as well as the uh, abnormal EG. This channel has more noise on it. ECG is actually pretty decent looking. Ah, maybe not. No, it's okay. It looks like a low, low resolution. Like low uh, sampling rate. You only have yeah, bugger roll samples. But I've seen uh, worse, uh, way worse ECGs uh, with this data set. Ooh. It's good this one is labeled with other. But when you see uh, stuff like this in one of the channels, you can probably guarantee that the other channels will be wrong. Well, not wrong. You know what I mean? Uh, bad. Why is it not here? Yeah, ah, yeah, just uh, clipping. This channel is clipping very badly. Yeah, very bad. Some EG there potentially, but who cares? It just, yeah, probably, uh, it's probably noise. A uh, 50 hertz or something. Something's wrong, very wrong with that electrode. So I could ignore it. Question is, how do you automate this thing? Because this uh, data set is not great. Here you have a DC component like through, throughout the recording. Also labeled with other, do we have ECG? No ECG, yeah. Anyway, uh, where are uh, spectrograms? So that the weirdest thing about this data set is that there's uh, no a uh, time window correlation between the raw EEG on the different channels and the spectrograms. Currently they're not loading at all, but where I've seen them just a second ago. Something gets back to... Right, so this one, a get spectrum ID should always have a both EG ID and sub ID. So it's this code. Shall we ask a get spectrum should always have both EG ID and sub ID as inputs. Can you fix the whole thing? Maybe, maybe not. To fix this one. Sometimes these things are links. <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> they are not. It's really annoying. She meant to uh, modify the JavaScript. Obviously, modifying Python, but it does look better. Not sure if it needs the rest of the code or not. Maybe it is. Supposedly, this is what you're sending to the to the language model. You're sending all of it when selected. Maybe it needs it. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. But is it actually using it? It can be an async function, is it? What if I just do control I 
update are they actually talking to it now they are they okay maybe more errors yeah we know why it's happening feels like i'm just uh, copy pasting stuff am i or maybe i am i don't know yeah, i'm never too sure um, who is developing you or the bot you would hope it's both but not certain we're having another error 286 problem with the fetching display the spectrogram canvas rp is not found well that's because i removed it um i thought they are being added i'm pretty sure i'm not actually calling them am i i have to check so i'm pretty sure we had the spectrograms there already appearing once and they did look legit because they have to double check triple check quadruple check you can uh, back it's still in chat container i don't know i don't think so sub id undefined what keep getting more and more okay yeah the spectrograms so just didn't load them on the get go so we have rp lp rl ll different locations looks like there's something there yeah the intensity how many frequencies do we have like 100 different frequencies um meant to be 600 seconds because it's 10 minutes worth of data let's go to 330 it's been forward check that otherwise the spectrum does look legit uh, and this should be essentially 100 seconds within this 600 seconds so my guess uh, would it be useful yeah this is just how the data set uh, is is a bit odd it is working however those chats are just scanning forever are they so there's something wrong those frequencies are not mapped correctly seem that seem to be the continuation of this so we have ll rl let's get rid of that for a sec yes yeah, so we have time um, rl lp and the uh, rp this meant to be frequencies time ideal should be in a separate in a separate variable i don't think it is at the moment should have those a uh, frequencies going up to essentially 20 hertz it's a bit odd frequency in hertz so it is going up to 20 hertz it's a bit low normally eg is being reviewed the uh, something missing is it is it cut off there are some examples of those uh, sample figures no this seem to be correct it's only going up to 20 hertz it's really odd but what's the sampling threat is that a set? i keep discovering a uh, more and more a uh, weird things about this data set they all like that are they yep yeah, you would expect it to go at least uh, to like 50 hertz or so yeah there's something wrong also spectrogram id is not being shown spectrogram label offset in second is not being shown i don't know why it's uh, 300 instead of uh, 600 it be 600 it's only plotting half expect it's only plotting half of it because the that actually goes from uh, minus five to five it's a bit unusual yeah this is only showing half of it only five minutes it should be 10 minutes in there we'll fix it next time i'll see you later bye